<laughs> okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. Start over fresh, shall we? Sounds like a good idea because I completely forgot what I was talking about. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so I do remember, I do recall that I, I I caused us to be late in recording because I was eating toast with some more fucking apple butter. It was pretty good. Um, and then we talked about <laughs> the uh, group chat, <laughs> the group text between <laughs> our family. Um, so funny story, oh, yeah. guys. Um, there was a group text going on between our family members and us, obviously, and it just wouldn't stop uh, going off. So I very rudely uh, jumped in and said, I don't like <laughs> I don't like tar because everyone was saying that they missed him. So I jumped in and was like, I don't I don't fucking miss that piece of shit. This group chat doesn't make me miss him. And. Then, of course, Tar jumps in and it's just like, yeah, you stupid, dumb motherfucking bitch. And <laughs> then it got to the point where mom was like, whoa, okay, stop now. And uh, <laughs> I put the uh, group text on mute, came back and said, I don't give a fuck. I put it on mute like an hour later. Um, and then eventually uh, got a call from my mom. <laughs> Who was very concerned about me and Tar hating each other? Uh, she <laughs> did not understand our joking. <laughs> I didn't and, do much to help. I was like, "Yeah, we hate each other now." By the way, um, <laughs> sending Brian, gifts about telling me to go fuck myself is cool. Yeah, that's great. Man. Yeah, uh, that was a good time this week. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so um, today's episodes episode <laughs> episode. Is on sports balls, sports, 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 sports. <laughs> bitch. Um, <clears throat> we didn't really grow up watching sports. We watched uh, the Olympics. We watched uh, what is it? Fantasy football? No, it's not fantasy football. What the fuck is it called? Oh, Super Bowl. <laughs> Obviously. Um, yes. I have realized that there's a lot of people uh, in my life as I've become an adult who uh, like would kill for their uh, favorite sports team, which is very interesting. Yeah. Um, they know everything about the sport. They wear the jersey. They do all this. And then they they don't play any sports. <laughs> yeah, so which I find to interesting. Our, to our one viewer. Uh, sorry, sorry if you like sports. Um, yeah, we sorry. We, we are going to take your interest. We're going to put it in a little toilet. We're going to get on our little squatty potty plastic <laughs> stool like a gargoyle. <laughs> and we were going to shit all over it. Not necessarily. We're just going to discuss sports things, right, that we've come across in our lives. I oh, mean, I played right. sports, yes. like, but I was not a really good, <laughs> believe it or not, I was not a really good team player. Uh, being told to be right wing on some sort of soccer field, like I was some sort of airplane or something. And they're like, all right, no, you've got to stay here on the field. I'm like, why? I'm fast enough. I can get the ball. And they're like, no, you can't. That's not how it works. You got to like, and I'm like, nope, I'm faster. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Put me up. Um, yeah. And I was just like, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this. I don't like pretending to be like, oh, this is invisible. I can't pass this line. <laughs> no. Yeah. If I can charge through a group of people, I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself and then score a goal. <laughs> exactly. People uh, say sports are supposed to be fun. But oh my god! All the rules are not so. It's like you know, there are some sports where they're like, "Well, when the blood moon rises and a cardinal lands on the holly tree, you can't uh, pass the ball." And you're like, "Fucking, how am I going to keep track of that?" Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the big thing for me that I eat playing sports in general, actually, it was when someone had to cover you. And the ball or said object uh, that is in question 
for whatever sport you're playing, uh, is on the opposite side of the field, this person is still jamming their butt into your stomach and or hips. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta cover you. I'm like, bitch, the ball's on the other side of the fucking field. Like, stop bumping me for no <laughs> fucking reason. I, it makes me want to fight. Like, I wish I could pull out a knife and just shank them and be like, there, now they can't cover me. Let me go f- chase after the ball instead of stand on this side of the field because I can't because of the rules. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's really weird because the other teammate is like, you know, we, we're not just playing against each other. We're rivals. And so, like, you're both standing there in your invisible little box, and they're just like, hmm, I don't like you. It's like, <laughs> you're like, dude, it's only because I'm on the other team. Like, whatever. Yeah. You're like, dude, I'm wearing shoes with spikes on them. If I get a chance, I will step on you. <laughs> I don't know, just something about, like, in general, like, I don't mind playing, like, loose rules, but when it gets to the point where, like, there's so much of these games rely on people actually following the rules. What if I didn't? What if I had a Spartan laser cannon? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what if- I, I always thought, uh, I always thought pro sports would be way more exciting with uh, blunt weapons. Oh, definitely. You know? uh, like, imagine, you know, um, the sports <laughs> ball master, uh, Brady, I feel like whatever you know, he's running down. He's gonna get a touchdown, but then oh no, a, a chain with a lock on it fucking <laughs> sails across the end zone and hits him in the legs. Oh, but that would know? kill the industry. No one would want to do that, and that's the thing. Uh, mm-hmm. I think sports have just become such a big like draw for money, right? Like, mm. what what is it? And not to go hard on on dudes. All right, I just want to say I'm, before I start this set of conversation <laughs> uh some dudes like to be uh gone hard on yeah so um i love you be a mm. dude do you think but the people who are like yeah i got a man cave and yeah I fucking watch the game and yeah I fucking balls <laughs> and i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> and i like i like fucking bud light you stupid bitch you dumb bitch <sighs> Yeah, I don't yes. know. Something about that mm. kind of stuff and like yelling at the fucking screen. Like I can't I cannot handle it. I, I have no tolerance for it. I witnessed the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so I see this video of these two guys and they're wearing the, you know, the big shorts and the little shirts and the flat brim hats. Nice. Um and uh they're hauling, they're hauling up this, up this massive, massive, absolutely massive television. <laughs> and you can tell they're, they're dude bros. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know. They, yeah, be you, dog. Uh, they, they do live a simpler lifestyle. You know, they think hitting each other in the testicles is humorous and things like this. Um, so... Wait, 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 wait. You don't think that's funny? No, not quite. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just yanking your chain. I don't think that's <laughs> yeah. funny at all. I'm going to be honest. When I see a guy like get drop kicked in the nuts, I feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, that's just one of the few things I'm like, that's not exactly funny. Yeah. Um, so anyways, anyways, they clearly they think it's great though. And that's cool. Um, but they've taught their child. And so while they're moving this absolutely massive TV into presumably their man cave. Um, uh-huh. the, ch- the child runs up and hits the dad in the nuts and he drops his precious <laughs> football window. <laughs> it is destroyed. God damn. It falls one story and it's destroyed. Did the kids survive? Yes. Um, it, the dad, you know, was a good dad and he didn't, you know, send the kid over the guardrail after the TV. Jesus. Um, he... Probably saw the error in his ways. Perhaps. Yeah, that I mean, I guess that'll te- it. teach you to have kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's terrible. I, I definitely derived a lot of Or at least be a better kid. parent. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's yeah. a lesson in there somewhere. I think he didn't overreact because he was so devastated that his oh, precious definitely. little that... sport ball window got ruined. I, yeah, TVs aren't I, cheap. Yeah. He was just so devastated. So I'm sure later he's going to be like, oh, you know, um, the Easter Bunny's not real or something. I don't know. One of my oh. favorite things One of my favorite things is like if I ever see a kid throwing sharp looks at one of my nephews or something, I usually come up and 
I say, hey, uh, Santa Claus isn't real and you're adopted. Um, Ooh, I almost cut myself on so, my edge. Hey, the email episode <laughs> they, was last time, okay? <laughs> well, it's beautiful. Bitch. It's masterfully planned out if you think about it because I didn't do anything to damage the child physically. But later, they're going to find out that Santa Claus isn't real. And when they find that out, they'll be like, hey, that man was right. Wait, that man was right. Oh, no, I was adopted. And they're just going to have like this little conniption fit, this little meltdown for a moment. Uh, if if they even remember, some kids just look at adults and they hear. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, dude! I totally make them remember. <laughs> I feel like the I, nut tap kid would be one of those kids. You'd have to yeah. like grab them and put your thumbs under their eyes, hold their eyes open, and say it to them. That would pro- they say, would probably be scarred for life if you. Said I didn't it that say. Way. I didn't say that I don't do that. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to say whether or not I grab their head with one hand and lift them off the ground either. But also, guys, everyone, <laughs> this is a hypothetical. Please don't call the police. Right, yeah, no, this uh, is definitely uh, hypothetical. It's never uh, happened before. I'm not wanted in Delaware or New Jersey. Well, uh, those aren't even states. <laughs> they're, right, those they're, are prisons. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, a big thing. Speaking of TV and sports, uh, the big thing for me uh is like thanksgiving especially i so i'm the kind of person i i'm one of those people where if you're at dinner or at lunch or you're talking with people you don't have your phone out or you're not just looking past them at tv and i can't fucking stand it when you go to a restaurant and there's 80 million fucking tvs everywhere and they all have like you know, sometimes it's TV shows. Sometimes it's like whatever fucking game is on. I give a fuck about. And you're like, I came here to eat dinner, right? Yeah. So for a while, it was just sports bars, and that's where you. That's why you go to sports bars. But then it just became like everywhere had TVs, and it's just like, well, you don't want to be with the person that you came to dinner with. Why the fuck did you come out here? <laughs> right. My big thing though is during the holidays when there's like a sport on, is you know everyone's supposed to be like hanging out and like helping like doing whatever everybody has off and we don't have to fucking work right if yeah. you just roll up in the living room and just turn on the game just to have on in the background i don't care if it's just on in the background you're gonna fucking kill yourself i will choke you out <laughs> something about that <laughs> fucking bothers me i always uh. have this like weird feeling that people don't want to spend time with me so as soon as their attention's divided i'm like oh that's it that's fine i'll just cut my neck and bleed fucking everywhere <laughs> and i just kind of <laughs> Dude, I go sports, crazy. sports are really important to a lot of people and i think that's why they've been invented or at least promoted is it's like a social tool now. You know, people don't know each other. They're scared to know each other. Yeah, it's a way to working. bond or hate. Right. So they're like, hey, here's something we can talk about. We both know about it. It's so weird. I have a dude here who works a very important job. And I can't really get into that. But while he's supposed to be doing said job, he will call his wife on the phone and be like, what are the scores? Why can't and I'm you like, check online? <laughs> one, why can't you check online? But two, it's about the scores. I thought it was about watching how they get the scores. Like, Ooh, say, yeah. Highlights later or something. But Ooh, like, baby. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's some crazy. people like being re- like in some sort of circle of winners, right? Even if they're like, right. oh, oh, that that's my team, right? Right. Yeah. It's kind of why like uh, people only watch good game streams and they don't watch me because. <laughs> yeah, I had that problem running on on when I was doing on Twitch, like. They, like people only watch you if you're super good at the video game or you're doing a speed run, you know, something crazy, right? But they won't yeah. watch you just like dick around, right? Which is a shame because I'm the master of that. Uh, yes, you are. We that they can should. be an entirely separate episode <laughs> in itself. But I think uh, another should. thing, like I think sports are kind of cool. Like I was watching, uh, I guess uh, European, uh, so football, right? And Parts of that were cool because, like, they're just doing so much running, right? Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, like, it's just – it really – something about it is just not my life. Maybe it's – maybe I lack that competitive bone. Mm. Uh, just, like, being like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, I, I've been to a live football game uh, here in the United States, and that was – it was cool. I froze my ass off. I ate a bunch of food. I was dog dead tired when I got home. Like, 
Yeah, I guess it was exciting to hear a bunch of people roar that could instantly turn into a riot. (laughs) (laughs) I think sports are way more like politics than people think. (laughs) Well, everyone likes being related to the winner, right? They want their side to win. No matter how stupid it is. That's because their side was where they were from. And that's how it started, right? Yeah. You know, the Baltimore Orioles were from Baltimore. But now they're like, oh, um, someone paid me a million dollars to move to this shithole. Hello, peasants. And you're like, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's – yeah, you're right. So teams aren't and, even really from the area anymore to a, yeah, spe- like, love, to a certain extent. Yeah. I love so much when a guy comes in with the uh, – the red jersey, and he says to the guy wearing the blue jersey, Haha, we kicked your ass last night. I'm like, dang, you're back from New England already? I didn't even see you on the field. Were you the kicker? <laughs> like, you know, like, I don't know. It's just weird to me. <laughs> True. Like, how weird would it be if, like, there was a war going on, right? Let's say America was at war with France, and I knew a French guy. And I just come in wearing a U.S. Army uniform, and I was like, ha we kicked your ass yesterday, you fucking You old bird. Like, yeah. I, just, I don't know. Go it's, make cuties, too. It's in demand. Um, <laughs> yeah, these more shows about like cuties. that. <laughs> more um, shows like that in an annex, definitely. Or, uh, <laughs> Yo. Um, yeah. It's the Mar and Tar Show. <laughs> Great. Just to take a quick break from the podcast, I wanted to remind the listeners that me and my brother know each other very well. And sometimes we get to joking and we'll tell each other what seems on the outside to be hurtful things. I just wanted to take the time to let you guys know that we've known each other for a very long time. And most of the time we're being, we're being facetious. Um, we think being rude to each other is hilarious. And if at any time that hurts your feelings, we, we really apologize. Um, and maybe the podcast isn't for you, but we really appreciate you guys for listening. Um, yeah, and that's it. All right. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get back to the podcast. It's the Mar and Tar Show. <laughs> so it's, I, okay, so let's, let's try to name famous sports people. Yeah. I claim Michael Jordan, and he played basketball. Oh, wait. Nice. If Space Jam was correct, and he played baseball for a little bit. <laughs> Welcome oh, to yeah. Space Jam. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, yeah. Um, I'm going to say Shaquille O'Neal. Um, I think he was a boxer. I saw him in the... one boxing match. <laughs> you know what he plays. It's the Shaqtis. <laughs> yeah, dude. I know. That's a big um, son of a bitch. He did, he did do a boxing match, though. It was exciting. Oh, for real? Did yeah. they fucking die? Because no, he was cute. he was playing. He was being real gentle. It's funny. The other guy would hit him, and he would be like, "Ooh, ha ha, that was pretty good." You go in there and like, because if he yeah, just like there. hauled off and haymakered someone, he would kill them. Yeah, yeah. They did it based off of scores, and they had fun. And then he reaches over the dude and punches his ref, or not his ref, his trainer. Uh, Jesus Christ. it was hilarious um they had a lot of fun and that was like that's the type of sports stuff i watch is like if people are having a whole bunch of fun and stuff like i'm in so i watched every second of that boxing match um i know cal ripkin and he played baseball nice the only reason that was a big thing was because he was from uh, close to our hometown and our school would not I was like maybe in first grade and our school would not shut the fuck up about Cal Ripken I don't even know what he did but everyone's like oh my god he's so great and I'm like he hit a ball with a stick let's go he didn't create world <laughs> peace or none of that shit figure out the cure to cancer but you know he was great those, those definitely take it back I'm sure someone's going to send us an angry email like oh my god he donated so much money to this cause and that's great I'm glad he did that well, so, hey, um, while we're harvesting please Yes. Um, as we're on the subject of the re harvest, I'm all about it. I am made out of re. I don't know if you know this. I'm Maybe just an should, internal screech. Uh, we should that name some gamers. We should name some gamers, and we should not name some NASCAR drivers. That way, we can make everybody mad across the board. I don't know any gamers by name, and I don't know. I only know one. Uh, Dale Earnhardt. Haha. 
did it. <laughs> there you go. You got him. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know anyone else. <laughs> no, yeah, it's okay. It's and not, I'm not yeah. googling any of this shit because I don't want sports anything to show up on my feed. All right, are you listening, Instagram? Okay, yeah, no, they're listening. Sure. I'm gonna come on here right now. They're be like, oh, Jeff Gordon. I'm be like, no. they're like, why don't you buy a big old fat head and put a player on your wall so you can see the sweat on their balls? <laughs> hey, um, so yes. if NASCAR is a sport to some people. Uh-huh. Then I guess monster trucks is a sport, right? Which I'm technically, okay with. yeah. I don't know why those it's not an Olympic sport. <laughs> they, they take a beating in those yeah, they things. Do. <laughs> I like I like monster trucks. Um, and speaking of uh, athletes and vehicles, I'm athletes. Whoa, we, athletes. Are yeah. we adding syllables? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm glad That's you got amazing. the reference. <laughs> Guys, see Benchwarmer if you haven't if you have watch it again. Um, yeah, Benchwarmer is so yeah, I worked on a famous sport ball guys uh vehicles for a little while. <laughs> and then did he call the police? No, no. Um, <laughs> he's a super great guy. Uh so I think he played football and then he was a sports caster for the halftime show. Um, and he would come by like the electric, um, trunk release for his super awesome classic car wasn't working. So I showed him how to open it in absence of that thing functioning. And he would just be like, God What's bless you, name, I love dude? you. And he would like throw a fucking fistful of twenties at me and my guys. Um, his name was James Brown. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I don't know anyone musician. by that name. Not yeah. the musician, which I'm disappointed because I love James Brown music. But um, no, yeah, his name's James Brown. He was a sports podcaster and Sweet. or sports caster. That <laughs> we're podcasters. Hey, is podcasting a sport? <laughs> we're running our mouths. <laughs> uh, please stop. I my life. Please I'm stop. It's a disease. Um, it's a disease. I am now in a mental prison. I want to die. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's see. Any other sports peeps? Uh, mm. I know Jerome Bettis from an asthma commercial. I think oh, he nice. plays football. Yeah. Um, I know about a guy, uh, Ben Roethlisberger. He's on uh, Pittsburgh. I think he was a quarterback, probably. I don't know. Oh, yeah. He's the dickhead. He didn't wear yeah. his uh, helmet or some shit back in the day yeah. when the Steelers were like, we're going to win everything and then stop. Um, yeah, he he does different stuff now. I think. Oh, you know my favorite uh, Steelers is is uh, Troy Palomalu. Oh yeah, didn't he have like? Did they make a song after him or something? I'm they were sure, big in but... high school because they kept winning um, the fantasy. Uh, not fantasy football. What the fuck do I keep saying? <laughs> that? Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Okay. So okay, I'm done naming famous people because that's pretty much all we know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry guys. Um. Fucking fantasy motherfucking football. Yeah. Why? <sighs> it's so stupid. I mean, props to the people who are running these sports. They're just like making so much money off of us in general. Like if we put could you imagine if we put that much money into <clears throat> anything else? <laughs> could you imagine if we put that like the much STEM like into, into STEM else. fields? Watching giant <laughs> robot fights, we'd probably be a yeah. lot farther ahead. I don't know, or or not. I'm, sorry. I'm ready for the robot fights, but no, I'm ready for that. Right. Imagine if we just put that effort or that thought into other things. For example, I'm like, oh man, you know, what are we getting taxed for? Who's running for what? And everyone's like, I don't know, but I know every football guy's blood type and his where he color was born, and his nightmare when he was a child, and what traumatized <laughs> him. And I'm like. Holy crap, I didn't even know he did anything other than throw a ball. It's amazing, I guess, but like who's running for this stuff that could affect our lives? And they're like Um, if we put that much into our infrastructure, then we could all vote from home. But you know. Um I don't know anything, and I could be wrong. Um, if you hate me, please send an email to social ish sixty nine four twenty at gmail.com. That'd be pretty great. Yeah, we are now um, accepting hate mail since we're not getting any mail, basically. Yeah, we're um, not getting anything. 
Um, Let's talk about the weird traditions of sports and the superstitions of sports. That's always been so I don't know that many, but I just know that people are like, I wore this shirt last Sunday when they were one, so I'm going to... I'm going to wear it again. Nice. Yeah. Um, there's some interesting ones. Like there's this hockey team and whenever they play, somebody somehow gets a freaking octopus in there and they end up throwing it onto the ice. <gasps> oh, no. That's so <laughs> I sad. That. I believe it's a death. Oh, okay. That was, yeah. wow. I was about to be like fucking barbarians. I mean, it's still pretty barbaric, but you know, at least it's not it's terrible. Alive. Um, so yeah, there's that, and then there's like, um, you know, like these superstitions about like, you know, all sorts of weird things. Knocking like twice on a piece of wood or something. I don't know. I yeah. don't know too much. I'm not that far into it, but I've seen commercials where people do like relatively superstitious stuff for like something or yeah. something. I like when it's snowing and people are out there wearing nothing but pants and they've painted a, a letter on their stomach because it never occurred to them that they could make a t-shirt with the letter or even a jacket. But it shows that they're <laughs> dedicated and, and definitely, uh, you know, part of the team. They're part of the team. Yeah. Well, I can tell you one thing about sports. <clears throat> I was up in New Hampshire and I was floating around getting some hotel rooms and stuff, visiting, and it was during the fall. Uh-huh. And uh, I never knew where I would be, so I would get a hotel room each night. Well, there was a New England game. I think it was a playoffs game. And every hotel from Boston to South New Hampshire was not only booked, but their prices were like quintuple. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, Closer to Boston, some shit ass room in like a Ramada Inn was like two G's or something like that. <laughs> and then where I was, the places that weren't full were like, oh, yes, uh, $200 a night. And like it used to be 95 And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, wow. Cool. Okay. So I ended up waiting till a super late at night. And I was like, all right, well, there's officially nowhere I can go. So I bought a cheap tent at a Walmart for 30 bucks. And I went to go to a campground because uh, none of the police were letting me sleep in my car in a parking lot. And the uh -huh. campgrounds were closed, so I had to break into a campground and sleep overnight and wake up before everyone else and then pack up and leave. Hey, guess what? We got you. This is the police. Stay right where oh, you are. Shit. We figured out who broke into that Holy fucking... <laughs> You guys that followed me for a while. I'm not even <laughs> mad. That's crazy. I'll turn myself in. Oh, I hope they hear this and I hope they arrest you. Good. I hope I get arrested. <laughs> Fucking, I hear there's all kinds of ass point in jail. Oh, really. baby. Uh, hey, if you eat ass, <laughs> does that make you a bottom feeder? Hey. <laughs> uh, I thank you, Cardi so. B and Megan Three Stallions for that, for that line. There we go. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, no, I just, something about, it just, maybe it's just not something for me that I follow, that when someone's like, hey, uh, you want to hang out Sunday and watch the game? I'm like, no. <laughs> and now yeah. I never want to hang out with you, ever. I'm just not, yeah. I just, I, there's so many other things, and I think part of it is because I'm like, busy, gonna die soon, like, I'm interested in so many other things, and I don't have time to sit still. Now, I do play video games. And I watch other people play video games. So that's probably like watching sports, right? Mm, yeah, you're a nerd. But it's normally games that I can't fucking afford to play. So mm. it's normally when I'm like doing something like, you know, being an adult and getting my laundry done. Because instead of sitting down and playing hours of a game, I'll just watch mm. someone else play it, right? You know, isn't that interesting? Um, I don't exactly follow sports. And even though I'm not good at video games, I'm rather fond of them. And I always struggle to keep up to date with uh, gaming PCs or consoles. Whereas the people that love sports have the newest video game day one as far as gaming system or computer. But they use it to play fake sports instead of Yeah, I was games. just getting ready to say they play like the new Madden, Buttholios, Sweat is Real uh, game. Right, it's it's very interesting to me. I really 
don't see maybe I'm uncultured swine, but I really don't see what the craze is about pretending to play a sport on a video game. That is a video game. You can go to the far reaches of the galaxy. You can if you want to play football. It's like choosing to read a book and you just read the dictionary. Right. I don't know. It's very interesting to me. Like games like Sims and games like Madden and stuff like that. Yeah, they're not as fun. Yeah, it's like I don't think I've ever like purposely gone out of my way to play like a sports game. Yeah. I've been like, like why the uh, now hold on a second. I'm sorry. I, I gotta stand correct. Let's set the record straight. For me, Mario Golf on the N sixty four is a supreme video game. Oh, well I feel like oh yeah, I guess that is a sport. Yeah, no, there's there's no way around that one. I can't help yeah. you lawyer out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Something about like it's maybe I'm just an asshole. But like when someone's like really hype about sports, I'm just kind of like, could you could you not? Because even even I'm not like super hype about video games. I'm like, eh, I'll play them. Mm. I get more hype about like getting my paycheck and ordering really nice food and buying beer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about the same. You know, maybe maybe you and I are just goblins. Maybe. But you know maybe what's funny is I've I've dated people who were like heavy into sports. But what was interesting about this uh these people uh was that they were also really into video games and being on their phone, but they didn't like going to the movies, they didn't like comedy clubs, they didn't like stand up comics. Like it, it's just so weird. Mm. I don't know. Something about it was just strange. Uh, they were just like, nope, this is my bubble. This is where I'm going to stay. Don't talk to me about anything else. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was very well, interesting. I found, I found that um, in general, of course, there's going to be exceptions to any generalization. Mm-hmm. But, but in general, the sports fans are pack animals. Uh, <laughs> this is rude. That... Sorry, guys, if you're sports fans. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I refer to all of us as animals, to be fair. I'm sorry. True. Um, so and I was getting ready to refer to myself as an animal too. Um, yeah. But yeah, so in in a large group, you see these aggressive things. We're like, oh, we won, let's destroy the town, or oh, we lost, let's destroy the town. <laughs> um, but when confronted individually, the vast majority of sports fans are not as aggressive when they're alone. You know, um, and and I think it's because. They're aware, they're aware of their individuality. Of this fits into what you were saying, I think, uh, sure. with like the comedy clubs and movies and stuff. Is it's them? And that, or they just don't like reflecting. like thinking at all, and they just want right. whatever yeah. like society thinks. You know, oh, get a house, have kids, even though you don't want to have kids. Make a man cave because you don't actually want to spend time with your family. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a dystopian nightmare. Isn't it? Yeah, I, uh, I I hate to be like that. Because I'm not trying to be pretentious or anything, but there really is a lot of that cookie cutter mom and pop bullshit. Yeah, man. It's the Amer- American dream. Um, before we get too far into depressing stuff, again, we're yeah. trying to uh, joke around. Oh, and we're more. going to. Oh, we're oh going yeah? To. No, we're pretty much. Yeah. This is. I'm no, wrapping this up. To. No, no, we're not. Here we go. The thing about sports is I root for the ball because <laughs> I always win. Yeah. You know, I'm never stressed. I'm never upset. Maybe sometimes I don't see the ball over all the dudes in tight pants trying to, you know, take it. But this guy with like a white and black shirt is like the ultimate warrior and he always protects the ball. It's amazing. <laughs> it's true. He, he is he is crumb. And, I, and they I are all Khan and the barbarian. The bar- yes. barbarian. It's true. I really love sports ball. And I love the products that have come from it. I like, don't know um, enough about rugby. Oh, earlier when you were talking about sports with blunt objects, I guess lacrosse, don't they hit each other? They do. They call it checking. I love how they make it sound so nice. Oh, check me. Oh, you just uh, plowed him in the sternum with a metal pole. Cool. All right. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. You checked him. Oh, yes, of course. Uh-huh. Um, you know what I like? I, I do like hockey. I 
I'm a basic bitch. I follow the Penguins because they win a lot. Um, also, I just love Pittsburgh in general, but it doesn't matter since I'm from Pittsburgh, I would assume. But uh, I like hockey, especially those little uh, in-game boxing matches. You know, yeah, like, I've only seen one hockey game, but at one point, like two dudes looked at each other, like, You want to fight? and they're like, Fucking yeah, dog. <laughs> they just started thing. fighting, so, which is kind of cool. I don't know what, what the I don't get it. And then yeah. they're just like back at it, they're not like salt I about it, it either. Yeah, I love it. And I don't watch people play video games, and I think that's why I don't watch sports on TV. But if you say, Hey, you want to go to this sport event, dude, I'm going because it's a fucking party, it's amazing. You That's know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of baseball, but I went to a Nationals game and had a fucking ball. It was great. You know, um, I, I'm i like that. Like, I will go to a sports event, especially a NASCAR event, because it's literally just like 36 hours of getting completely trashed. It's amazing. Um, but hockey games, dude, there's a lot of energy and it's not too long. It's not all day. Um, yeah, I can't stand how football is like 18 hours of just. Uh, they moved like a yard or they didn't move a yard. Here's a commercial. Cause I'll yeah. tell you what, that's probably part of the reason why I don't watch any sports is I can't fucking stand commercials. If you yeah. interrupt my YouTube video or my TV show, just to be like, Hey, this is a product that, um, you don't and won't ever fucking need. Let's keep talking to you about it. Like, Oh, fuck. yeah. Fucking... If anything, it makes me more apt to like, not like that product. No, definitely. I hate um, getting my shit interrupted, like especially with ads. That's why the radio is f- fucking garbage. Garbage. Oh, All right. Well, are you ready to wrap this shit up, dog? Let's do wrap it. it and protect it. Right? Yeah. Just keep stay strapped or get claps. Um <laughs> I prefer to do both. <laughs> Ooh, stay strapped and get the clap. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for listening to us complain about sports. We don't know anything. Uh, I know football exists. I know volleyball exists. There's basketball. There's a lot of balls. Uh, mm. Golf. Something about rugby. Oh, yeah. You know Field that Olympic hockey. one? Hockey. Now, I will say I think we should definitely focus way more on the Olympic sports than anything else. Yeah, like, I love like gymnastics and all that shit. That shit is fucking yeah. amazing. The skiing and yeah. ice skating and shit. That's or the so sled cool. one where the people's butts are like right in the camera. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's intense. That's a very what's intense. that one where they have to like ski across country and then um like pull out a rifle and like shoot a target and then like do this other thing and then keep skiing. Ah, yes. Yeah. I forget what they call it. It's like honest, a hardcore like European, like almost yeah. always like the Swedish people or something or Germans yeah. like always win. And they're just like, right. yeah. And you're like, wait, because it's like to the other countries, it's a game, but to them, that's probably their life. <laughs> Maybe in some spots. They're yeah. on a mountain. They probably have skis instead of cars and they shoot everything because they're all required to be military. True. Amazing. Yeah, no, that's, that is interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, what's that one curling? I know curling. Oh sport. yeah, yeah. Where they scratch, scratch the ice. They or go, <laughs> yeah, um, I love boxing, that. obviously, MMA. Um, yeah. 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 It's like sports. It's a little confusing sometimes. Sports, and then there's wrestling when you want to be real close. Oh, <laughs> and then there's that that uh, WWE shit. Uh, yeah, boy. yeah, dog. Um, oh man, I really, yeah. I, I, I wish I could look like Brock Lesnar on command. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do. Maybe I just want to be me. Like, uh, if I could wear pants, that would be fucking awesome. Yeah, I wonder why they wear the. I'll tell you what, they must wax because, like, from what I understand. Yeah. Uh, about men is that they're relatively hairy and just to be like pretty much hairless on your legs and so close to the crotch like i'm like they must know what a they must know what a brazilian is because man let me tell you that's probably somebody's finishing move ever get uh, just just strip that hair right on up um they probably get it like laser hair removed because they make that them them bucks yeah i actually wouldn't mind being a fake pro wrestler or no yeah (laughs) but an actual pro wrestler uh, yeah. It'd be cool. I could be the that bad guy. Be- Just call me shithead idiot or something. Oh, I don't dude, know. I, I fucking... could totally do it. 
I'll show up. Like, hey. I'll keep my uh, Instagram name. I'll call myself malware and I'll just like hack into the giant screen when someone's like doing their <laughs> intro and it's just like, oh, 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 oh. oh make man. fun of Anon. It'd be great. You could do a thing where you like grab their head and pretend to type on their brain and like you're controlling their body <laughs> and then you make them brain. like beat up their, their buddy or something. Be like the tech person uh, who has no muscles that sends I, dr- drones out to fucking fight other wrestlers. It'd be great. Because I, I, I don't want to break not even a finger. So I would, I would be the great Russian. Because um, I'm capable of dishing it out but not taking it. So basically <laughs> what I'd do is I'd wait till We'll call you the wrestler, drone. Right, yeah. I'll wait till some wrestler's been beat up by another wrestler, and I'll come in out of nowhere and just beat him up while he's down. You could just and be I'll my drone strike. Away. I'll I'll legit <laughs> just like have a little keyboard, and then like, what? What is she doing? Oh my god, what is she doing? She's like, oh god, she called in the drone strike, and then you literally just fly over and just like drop a giant bucket full of like lead or some shit yeah, on their head. Yeah. Fucking I'll wear him. a giant boxing glove over my legs and I'll zip line in and I'll just <laughs> punch him in the face with my whole body. <laughs> but then they punch you and then you're out for the rest of like the next two seasons. Yeah. No, I'd be in the hospital for like the rest of the year. Because <laughs> my body's been destroyed so many times doing oh. the real thing. <laughs> uh, so I'm breathing. Yeah. It'll be great. It'll be a good time. Oh, give me no, a second. Yeah. Hold I'll on one second. My neighbors are screaming and yelling again. Oh, this cool. Is, they sound like they're really like happy together. Um, yeah, okay. really happy people. Um, so, now, wait, you know, what, what, I've what? got this all wrong. I'm not a wrestling personality, but I could be one of the weapons. Like, <laughs> I'll just... What? Stand there like the chair, and they'll grab me by the legs and just beat the other guy with me. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so awesome. <laughs> you go in there disguised as a chair, and they're like, there's something weird about this chair. And, <laughs> and you, you slightly whisper, you're like, no, there's not. And they go, no, there's not. <laughs> yeah, see, what happens is they You're not even a real with, journalism. They, they beat the other guy with me, and they're like, there's something weird about this chair. And then... That's when I'm just like, ha it's me. And they freak out and they run away. So technically I win because I'm the last guy. <laughs> no, I was more expecting you to like lean down and give them a kiss. And they'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I'd be like, mm, harder, daddy. And they'd be like, <laughs> You're not even a real journalism. <laughs> right. I just said that twice, but deal with it. Yeah, no, I love it. That's it's beautiful. so good. Um, yeah, yeah no, so I think this is where we're going to wrap this shit up, man. Sorry yeah. if you like sports and we just kind of like got on and complained about sports, but have you listened to our work episode? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Ooh. Um, we're literally just like some mealy mouth bitches. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should change fuck. the podcast to mealy mouth. <laughs> we should change the podcast to fuck you. <laughs> let's let's argument. change the podcast to listen to me drink water for an hour. Oh wait, no, that's ASMR. That's so stupid. Oh dude, hell yeah. We should go ham on ASMR. I know we touch it now and then, but we should eventually Welcome to the podcast centered around sit ups. The first episode is about coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh I'm actually I'm gonna make an ASMR. Video. It's gonna be oh, very God, I can't though. stand ASMR. Well we'll do a different video on that because yeah. uh, I am like almost like, vomiting thinking about it. While, okay. While I'm talking, I'm just going to shove the whole camera down my throat. Until- oh, no. I'm sure that's somewhere on someone's OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. We're going to. Okay. Guys, sports ball is now over. Yeah. Fuck sports ball. We and we didn't it. talk about sports and COVID because we all know COVID exists and it's making us miserable. Yeah. So can we yeah. not? <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> well, good. Die faster. Oh, fuck. Uh, die quieter. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that out. That ripped a hole in my chest. <laughs> All right, guys. Goodbye. We love you. Ooh. Okay, okay. Stop. Cut. No, we're not doing this. <laughs>